Hello everyone. So glad you're here again at Mary's Little House. It's in the 90s. I just got, you see I'm sort of shiny. I just got through walking the Stations of the Cross. The 14 Stations of Jesus' Way of the Cross to Calvary and finally ending in his burial in the tomb. As I was saying yesterday, uh, that our spiritual life, our holiness, is love, is the perfection of love, perfecte caritatis, the perfection of charity, of love, of divine love. The source of that love is from God, the, the third person of the Blessed Trinity, from the Father to, to Jesus, uh, 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 by way of the Blessed Trinity. The Holy Spirit, the third person, is the love that the Father has for the Son. He beget, got the Son, he, uh, he, uh, and, and the Son loves the Father as a Son and does everything to please the Father. Everything just to please the Father. From all eternity, that love between the Father and the Son the first and second persons of the Blessed Trinity, uh, that love is called the Holy Spirit, another person. The Holy Spirit's a person, not just a, a force or something, a person. So one God, three divine persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And the love between the Father and the Son is the Holy Spirit. And when we are baptized, when we are brought into God's family, into the church by holy baptism, we are brought into the not only the church here on earth, but into the Trinitarian family, the family of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We are swept up in that love between the Father and the Son. In fact, Jesus came, sent by the Father who so loved us, it came to, to bring us into that that stream of love that the Holy Spirit so we may be live for the Father that we may open ourselves to the Father's love and, and to be loved and to love the Father as Jesus he shares his filial his son's love for the Father with us so we as sons and daughters have the Holy Spirit sharing the Holy Spirit's love that Jesus has for the Father as a son. We as sons and daughters have this Holy Spirit. And when we live this Holy Spirit, when we let the Holy Spirit take over our lives, we become persons in love with God the Father, persons who are, uh, who, who, who do not look for are their own good, but for the good of others. We say when we studied love in philosophy, just philosophy, just human love, but we, it applies to supernatural love, we say that love is willing the good of the other. Willing the good of the other. Now this willing is not just a wishy-washy willing, oh, I wish you all these things, but don't do anything about it. It is not only willing, but doing the good of the other. And, and, and so a tra we, are tra we transcend ourselves. When we are born, we are very self-centered. That's what babies are. And we grow and we mature. We start to, oh, to share things with our siblings and start to, to go to school and share things and, and time and social interaction with our, our classmates. We, we grow, mature, as we mature, we become more, less self-centered and more other-centered. And, and, and then, uh, oh, then sometimes, uh, uh, most of the time we meet us a potential mate and, oh, and fall in love. And, and that really brings us out of ourself because we want to do everything for the one we love and just give our whole selves, our whole being, our whole lives to share our lives with the other. So, so that that so we say in the spiritual life it's the same we are we are called to love like the father loves his son and the son loves the father 
He's the, uh, that's what Jesus gave us, his love for the Father. And, it, and it, we live it out here on earth, that love for the Father, in fulfilling his will, doing his will right, right now with me talking to you on YouTube, with little Peanut here uh, laying on my lap here. Uh, uh, everything is, is just love when we are doing the Father's will. It's mysterious. It's enchanting. Uh, the tree, the big maple out there, uh, knowing that you're listening. I don't know who you are, uh, but uh, but you're there. That our our hearts could could communicate love to the to to each other, even over the marvelous gifts of social communications and YouTube and technology. I am so grateful. So we're getting there to see what true holiness is. It's the perfection of love, of love for the Father like Jesus loves, of love for others like Jesus loved us. He said, uh, uh, as I have loved you, so you must love one another. And greater love than this no man has than to lay down his life for his brother, or sister too. Um, so, so our lives as we mature as human beings and, and as Christians is, is, a, is to love, to love completely. And oh dear people, this is the secret. Ponce de Leon left Spain and looked for the fountain of youth. He was looking over down in Florida someplace, a beautiful state, the hollow Florida, uh, but he couldn't find it. But the fountain of youth is love. It makes us eternally youthful because we, uh, we no longer are bogged down by our self-centeredness, our self-absorption, our self-wanting uh, our own way. But we're all ready to go to give ourselves in love for the other. And, and, and uh, like Jesus, I, like the way of the cross, I just uh, uh, walked with Jesus, giving himself completely on the cross that we may have life and be saved and be saved and calling us to do the same for our brothers and sisters yes he died once and for all he won our salvation but now it's our part to apply that salvation uh, to give it to others to share it with others by loving them by letting them experience God's love through our love, which is God's love shown through our face and our hands and our voice uh, to others. I'm so grateful you're here. Just because you are here, you're interested in, in love, interested in holiness, interested in, in God and, uh, and our love for uh, uh, God. Uh, our spiritual journey is the greatest journey we could ever take. Uh, we might go to uh, oh the, to the big mountains with the uh, oh, the uh, over in in, uh, in India or the Himalayas and or wherever. Those are adventures too. Or go out in space in the space shuttle, which we just concluded. Those are adventures. But there's nothing more adventuresome as 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 the journey, uh, the spiritual journey to the Father, it's got lots of dra drama, lots of joy, and lots of, of of nobility of giving ourselves like Jesus to lay down our lives to save others. Those rescues, uh, we we save them from the fires of hell by our our suffering, our prayer, our reaching out to them. Uh, and inflappably loving them, not stopping at anything. Our children, those that God gave us to, to, uh, to, to love, to, to, and our greatest love is that we lay down our lives for them, so that they can be with us, with God now on earth in grace, union with God, and forever in glory in heaven. God bless you.